Hello, YouTube. Welcome to YP Patriot YouTube channel. Welcome back to American First Patriot YouTube channel. Right now, one of the hottest topic breaking news is about Joe Biden classified documents finding all over places coming days and weeks. Today's video is, is this is the end of Joe Biden presidential run in 2024? Let's watch together what CNN reporting about the crime family of Joe Biden. Biden swears by his name in politics. He has built his political career on promises of honesty, hard work, and a pledge that a family name means something. I give you my word as a Biden. I give you my word as a Biden. But while Joe Biden swears by his name in politics, his son and two brothers spent years trying to benefit from the Biden name. It's all now the focus of a Republican-led congressional investigation. We want to know what the Biden administration is trying to hide from the American people and why they are not being transparent. Republican Congressman James Comer now chairs the House Oversight Committee and has set his sights on Joe Biden's son, Hunter, a mysterious laptop now in the hands of the FBI and long-held conspiracy theories about President Joe Biden and what he does or doesn't know. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. Despite his denials, a CNN review of the laptop data, as well as other public material, shows that Joe Biden did interact with some of his son's associates while serving as vice president, though it's unclear exactly what was discussed. One example, the Republican site, Miguel Aleman Magnani, a Mexican businessman and son of the former president who Hunter was trying to woo. In 2014, Aleman Magnani and his dad were photographed at the White House with then Vice President Biden. In a later email, Hunter Biden reminds Aleman Magnani of the favors he's done for him. We have been talking about business deals and partnerships for seven years. I have brought every single person you have ever asked me to bring to the effing White House and the vice president's house and the inauguration. Hunter Biden bluntly acknowledged the power of the Biden name in a memoir, writing that the Ukrainian energy company Burisma, which put him on its board, considered my last name gold. I don't think that there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life that, uh, that if my last name wasn't Biden. Joe Biden's brothers have repeatedly referenced him in their private dealings. Frank Biden, a developer of for-profit charter schools, has invoked his brother in trying to convince local officials to approve his projects like in Sunrise, Florida, where he told the city in 2015 to trust his venture. Not because of Frank, but because of the honor of being the brother of a guy I think we all know and love. In 2021, at a gathering of medical professionals, he made this pledge. The bully pulpit that I have as a result of the privilege of being associated with, with my brother Joey. And I'll do everything in my power to support you to get the job done, to get federal dollars to your research. Frank Biden told CNN there has been zero interaction between his brother's public office and his private business, adding, do I engage in any way in quid pro quo on any level? Absolutely not. The last name gave credibility, you know, initially. Healthcare entrepreneur Michael Frey told CNN Joe Biden's other brother, James, broke financial promises he made while referencing the Biden name. Frey's company filed a lawsuit alleging fraud by James Biden, who denied the claims. Frey spoke to CNN before the lawsuit settled in 2020. Everything was on the Biden name, and, and so we took that to heart. James Biden was also named in a lawsuit filed in July. He allegedly received about $600,000 in loans in 2018 from a company he worked with, AmeriCorps Health, based upon representations that his last name Biden could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections. The suit states that the investment was never delivered. The lawsuit was settled, though James Biden denied the allegations in court filings. He did not respond to a request for comment. Kathleen Clark, a government ethics expert, calls it all troubling. We have ex certainly examples of Biden family members explicitly trading on his name, trying to convince business partners to, to do deals with them. Um, that's outrageous. Even so, government ethics experts say the Biden's ethical challenges pale in comparison to Donald Trump. 
One of the differences is that Trump himself personally was corrupt and uh, certainly did enrich himself uh, uh, through the use of, of government power. Even the Republican congressman leading the Biden investigation raises concerns about Trump's dealings while president. And you believe there should have been more transparency with Trump and his, his family members in the business that they I, may have been I doing do. overseas? I do. I absolutely do. Comer says he wants to introduce bipartisan legislation to tighten ethics laws, but the committee's first priority is the Bidens. And it's important to note there is no proof the president has done anything illegal. We sent the White House a list of questions, including whether the... So, what do you guys think? The CNN liberal work company is reporting against Joe Biden. Do you think other liberal work company will join CNN? Like ABC, NBC, CBS, and other social media company get Joe Biden out of White House and now running for 2024 election. Be sure to make a comment below. If you're a subscriber, returning subscriber, thank you. I really appreciate you for your support. And I will see you next video.